Right, a very good evening from the broadcast position. This is the Hand Grenade 72 channel right here on YouTube, and I hope everyone is keeping good here on this Sunday night, May 8th of 2022. The time is now 20 minutes past 10, uh, 20 minutes past uh, 5 Eastern Standard Daylight Time, and 20 past 12 in the West Coast of California. Well, I was just watching the news there moments ago and uh, all I can say is there was this artist I, uh, he spoke in his own native language I couldn't understand what he was saying but uh, a Sky News announcer was interviewing him and basically what he done was uh, amazing I saw the pictures with my own two eyes and the screen out there just next to the booth here he painted the actual scene of to where the bombardment began back in february and i have to give this gentleman credit where credit is due and uh, i have never seen any other individual do this ever so this is an individual with a very unique imagination and he's very well talented now i know nothing about this guy's background but i just saw to what i just saw on the screen out there but it was fucking awesome that's in the crisis in the ukraine all thanks to president quite frankly so all I can do is give this man his due is this sound And fair play to him for doing that. And yes, I did add, add in a little bit of sound to that because he deserves the credit for freaking doing that. He deserves the world of credit for doing that. And so this gentleman was going from, from one village to the other, painting the scene of that horrible tragic incident on February 25. I never seen anything done like this. All I saw was ha two hands up like this, like like if someone was raising their hands in anger or something like that. I really couldn't really tell to what the gesture was about. But all I can say here is that to that man out there in the Ukraine, which he lives there, quite frankly, for the record, fair play to him fair fucking play to him and it doesn't take a big it does not take a big man to cry according to his statement in an, in an interview from sky news from a, from a sky news announcer who was reporting on the scene out there much to their guts and credit as i would often would say but fair play to that man and then I was just reading there a very quick clipping there on the news there just before I got on the headphones here. Uh, it, this is in reference to Zelensky to uh, quite frankly and uh, he was saying victory will be ours again. That's in reference to the Ukraine. They had look let's just tell it like it is here they put up with a lot of shit over there they put up with a lot of crap and they do not deserve that they just don't deserve it so 
with that in mind, what we're going to do right now here on this uh, special broadcast here on YouTube, we're going to take a quick commercial time out. Uh, we'll be right back. Right, we are back on the Hand Grenade 72 channel right here on YouTube. And other uh, news has just occurred to our attention earlier on this afternoon. For those who can recall this uh, 70s and 80s TV series of Minder, uh, Dennis Waterman also passed away uh, earlier on today. And uh, this was in Spain. He was in his mid 70s. And for what I'm made aware of, that he passed away peacefully. So he's reunited with the. Uh, with one of the legendary greats, uh, George Cole, who was his tag team partner in crime in Minder back in those early days. So, condolences to the Waterman family at this point in time. Well, that wraps it up right here on the Hand Grenade 72 channel, ladies and gentlemen. Do have a pleasant evening and keep safe.